Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The Three Amigos are back. The Three Amigos are back right here on Wrestling Rampage as we're doing Five Questions with WR. Yes. Uh, you guys have been sending questions nonstop, and uh, you know we're sorry that uh, you know last week we were out of commission for a while. Hey uh, man, if we don't get to your question yet, it's because we're busy. Okay. Yeah. We'll get to your question when we get to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going wrong. There's other people's goddamn questions uh, up there before yours. Yeah. yeah. You gotta give us time. But but trust trust us, we will get to every one of them. Yeah, so, uh, and, and we're going to be doing a lot of five questions this week, so uh, I, I think we're going to be doing about five or six. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, so tune if you, back. If you send a question, don't worry, we'll get to it. That's right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this edition of five questions, because this one is six. We got six questions uh, right here, going to be asked by our good New Zealand bro, Bree the 35. Bree the 35. Uh, go check out his channel on YouTube. Uh, does some great work over there. I've seen him do some unboxings and things of that nature in his past videos. Uh, not only that, but uh, uh, here on uh, the KWP channel. Yes. Um, we're going to be doing uh, predictions for the Big Four Championship yes. uh, for the Royal Rumble the coming Royal up. Royal Rumble. For that Rumble Royal today. That's right. Uh, we're going to see if we can't regain our belt. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first question. Why uh, did WWE not have no slammies this year uh, for 2017? Because Roman Reigns probably would have won them all. <laughs> Superstar of the year, Roman Reigns. Diva of the year, Roman Reigns. Uh, Tag team of the year, uh, Roman Reigns or Roman Reigns' hair. Yeah. Uh, jock sniffer of the year, Roman Reigns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Vince's fucking nose. Yeah, that'd be Vince's Slammy stuff. right there. I don't know why they didn't do the Slammy Awards. I, I actually like when they do it. I yeah. don't know why they didn't do it this year. Now, granted, they do pick some shitty fucking winners yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I'm sorry. When I, when I see a winner that, that should win, like Kevin Owens should have been Breakout Star and not Neville. You know, uh, you know, when I saw Neville win, I was like, Did he win the 2016, win? I think? Yeah. 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 I was like, Kevin Owens had a better year. Yeah. I go by better years. I'm sorry. Now, I would have to say, uh, you know, Neville pretty did, did damn pretty did, good. Damn good, good this year. In, in 2017. No, he'd probably, be a, he'd probably be a cruiserweight star of the year. If uh, we already know that. Oh, yeah. And, and, He's already. He, oh, yeah. And fucking Enzo Amore was Beetlejuice tights. He don't deserve to have any goddamn award. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh, Pilots, why, why do you think they didn't have no slammies this uh, year? For the end, uh, for the end year of 2017? Uh, because, because probably they just, they just didn't care about it. They didn't um, care I about mean, it? Yeah, I, I, you know. Or the slammies cost too much? Yeah, you know, that, 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 uh, that, uh, made, made up, made up gold and shit like that right there probably cost Vince money and he didn't want to do that. Yeah, they try to bootleg them on the WWE shop. Yep. Yeah, and I don't really see them selling all that much. Yeah, oh, I, I buy a Slammy. Uh, well, well, I think they're like two hundred and fifty dollars a yeah, pop. Yeah. So Fuck that, I'll pass. Uh, but I wouldn't mind have have one of the hundred bucks where I can slam it against Vince McMahon's head. I pro I probably would do a hundred bucks. Uh, I th I think the reason why they didn't do one is because uh, two thousand seventeen was a pretty crummy year uh, for their for WWE. Uh, you know, a lot of the pay-per-views yeah, suck this every year. Every year they always do the slammy. So I know, but, I, but every fucking pay-per-view almost sucked this year. They, yeah. they did. They did it. I mean, I, I consider every, the, you know, just about every one of them just fucking was just fucking awful. So you fucking. know, I mean, I mean, you know, they, they might have had one or two good matches on yeah. on each pay-per-view. That was it. I was like, God, man, that sucks. But anyway, I digress. We're gonna go to the next question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are some of the, the most iconic facial hair gimmick uh, on a wrestler? Uh, he 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 coins of uh, Hulk Hogan's mustache, you know, okay. as an iconic figure, and he says uh, uh, the Rock's goatee uh, is not part of that. You well, know? I figure <laughs> I figure Breathe the Thirty Fives would have been the Rock's goatee in 2013 when he had that goatee going. Uh, uh, Hogan's pretty much really does come to mind. You yeah, know? Uh, his mustache not is for iconic. Me. 
Uh, well, who's who's facing her? Because like I don't Hogan, know. Who, Hogan's not to me though. Well, I mean, what uh, goes in your mind then? Edge in 2008 and 2010. Oh, with the bushy beard. With the bushy beard. No. Yes, that's mine. Edge in 2008 and 2010 when he returned. All right. Edge's bushy fucking beard. That's that's my pick. Uh, pops, anything that goes in your uh, mind? Well, I, I I would actually really really have to agree with Tom because of the coat. Uh, uh, because of Edge's facial hair, Be because no, but no, because he never had it. When he come back, he had it, mm -hmm. and uh, he get kind of, kind of really wow. That's who the hell is that? <laughs> um, I got two that come to mind. Now, granted, one of them I don't really care about, but you know, he's pretty much known for it, and that's uh, uh Jeff Hardy. Uh, he always had like yeah. you know like you know he he had I the beard one. and it'd be like cut you yeah. know like in designs and stuff which was pretty yeah. cool yeah but it's just you know I wasn't a fan yeah and then uh, uh, in the eighties and the nineties uh, Rick Rude's mustache you know <laughs> yeah I always enjoyed that you know yeah. you know you gotta get a taste uh, of what the war is gonna get at Summer Slams that's right but uh, you said you had another one. I have to go with Rusus Mutton Chops. Uh, Rusus Mutton Chops. Remember that? Yeah, the Mutton Chops. Yeah. yeah. And then probably I have to go with Luke Harper. Luke Harper with the with the big fucking beard. Yeah. yeah. Um, Eric Rowan's beard sucks. It's red. But uh, oh well, you know, redheads uh, they get burned from the sun. Yeah. Uh, any other? Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Uh, Bush yeah, yeah, beard. Braun Strowman. I mean, that's some bitch, uh, you know. Uh, well, back to mutton chops, I'd probably put fucking Rico on there. You might as well put Rhino, because he's yeah, got a Rhino, mutton Rhino chops good. Yeah, Rhino had it too. Yeah, Rhino's running the mutton chops now, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess we're going to go to the next question. Yeah, let's go to the next question. Uh, what are your guys' favorite mid-card uh, title from any promotion, and why, why would you pick that title to be your favorite? Now, mid-card, we're talking about maybe in WWE, uh, you know, Anything but the WWE title yeah. or the um, or the world. Yeah. Um, NWA, anything but the NWA world title. Yeah. WCW, same thing. You know, any 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 title that uh, that was mid card. Uh, you know, uh, something that uh, was a stepping stone, pretty much. I uh, I tell you what, I think I, I think I'll go with the NWA on this right here and. The, the title that I, that I really thought was, was so fantastic and it was really unique, in my opinion, was the TV title. The television title. Yes. Why? Why? Be because it, it was so different. I mean, I mean, it was it, it, the 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 crawl moment was was like red, you know, and and it had a red strap. But it, it was so it was so unique, and, and, and the way they monogrammed it, it was so unique. Uh, you know, uh, um, which which. You know, the television title was a staple in the NWA uh, promotion for a long time. And George Crocker promotions, um, with it being, uh, you know, you're going to have a title match every week on yeah. t on TV where the television champion is going to be putting his title on the line uh, yeah. during the show. And, and you it, could see a new champion. You could see the champion prevail. And, that, and, and, a, and, a, lot of, and, a, and a lot of great stars held that TV title. I mean, mm. they, they, they grabbed it up. Like, uh... uh Dusty Rhodes held the TV title. Uh, hell, uh... Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson held the TV title. Magnum T.A. held the TV title. Uh, Kelly Blanchard held the TV title. I mean, a lot of those guys, that that was their stepping stone to, 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 to get, get to other... the U.S. title That's status. It. Because, because, because they, they had the TV title, then the next was the United States title. And, and the title just kept on rolling up. So if you got that right there, you know you were in line for the U.S. title. True that. All right. Tommy. I'm going to have to go with the Intercontinental Championship. The Intercontinental Championship. Why is that? Because that's the most prestigious title, to be honest with you. They were all the workhorses of the goddamn WWF. I and agree. WWE, still. I got to yeah. agree. You know, even though Roman Reigns holds the Intercontinental title, and it kind of diminishes it a little bit because he's not a workhorse. You know? But, uh, which he will lose it to The Miz on Raw 25 and giving you a heads up. Um. Maybe. Oh, no, there ain't no maybe. He, the Miz is being the next Intercontinental Champion. Alright. You know, look at all the great talents that held that Intercontinental title. Shawn Michaels, 
Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Rick Rude. You know, with the exception of Mr. Perfect and Rick Rude, that propelled them to WWE yeah. Championship, exactly. and WWF Gold. You know, Randy Savage, the Honky Tonk Man, the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time. Chris Jericho, The Miz, you know, and there have been some shitty Intercontinental Champions. You know, Ahmed Johnson. Ahmed Johnson. I'll, I'll mention another one here. Dean Douglas for about 11 minutes. You know, uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to throw that on Oh, you damn right. Um, let me think of another shit. The Ultimate Warrior. I'm sorry. And, and that right there titled just like but, the TV title. It led you to that championship. Mm -hmm. Whoever held that was entitled for a title shot. Um, you know, I will have to agree with you with the Intercontinental title. That would be the more, more prestigious as well. But I'm also going to throw the United States Championship in there. Uh, because, um, now, granted, if it was in WCW or WWE, that was also one of those titles that was, um... Been a long time. You know, been there a long time, made a lot of, uh, you know, Ric Flair was a, yeah. what, yes. was a United States champion yes. before, before he came, yeah. uh, you know, for the NWA title. Yes, he was. Uh, Rick Harley Greg, Race. Steamboat. Uh, Steamboat, Harley Race. Um, you know, even going into WCW, um, you had, uh... You know, Eddie Guerrero was United States champion. Yes. Um, now, granted, there were some shitty ones like Steve Mongo McMichael. Yeah. Uh, Conan. Conan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, and and you know, Lee, uh, Bret Hart. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, even though he should have been higher Rick Rude. than uh, Rick Rude. Sting. Uh, Sting as well. You know, even going into WWE when they first brought it Lex in. Lex Luger. Uh, Lex Luger was in there. Uh, you know, even going to WWE. Uh, for the first time, Eddie yep. Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Chris Benoit. Benoit. Yeah. John Cena. John Cena. You know. Uh, Big Show. Which was John Cena's first uh, title in yes. WWE uh, that propelled him yes. uh, in 2004 to go into 2005 and becoming the WWE yes. champion. You know, I, I agree with all this right here, but to me, you know, for, for, for those type of titles, I really don't think it was the titles that, 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 was, that, that, that propelled. I think it was the men that held the titles that propelled them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's... There's always that thing about uh, there's the there's the person holding the title or the titles holding the person. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, true that. I can uh, I, I couldn't agree with you anymore. Uh, uh, as you can tell, the titles holding Roman Reigns. It uh, is. Yes. Well, most yes. most of his titles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But most of his titles that he that he's got. Uh, WWE Championship, yeah. Tag Team Championship, Intercontinental Championship, uh, U.S. Championship. They all held him. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, next question, uh, actually both of these next questions are kind of tied in with each other All as right. far as, uh, you mentioned Raw 25, the 25th yeah. anniversary is coming up this Monday. That's exactly. probably the only Raw I will watch this year. Uh, we have, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't watched Raw in fucking months. I haven't watched Raw in months. I do watch some of the snippets on YouTube. That's me. But that's it. Um, and uh, do you believe Hulk Hogan should return at WrestleMania? At, well, sorry, at WrestleMania, excuse me, at Raw 25. Yeah, I think Hulk Hogan should. Come on, he was a staple in the WWE. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was there in Raw 93. Yeah, barely. You know, barely, but, <laughs> but he was there. He was there. You know, and uh, yes, I think Hulk Hogan should come back. He made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. and come on, and everyone, I'm sorry, I'm going to say this right up front. I don't give a fuck if everyone gets pissed off or not. A lot of people get butt hurt so fucking easily. Mm -hmm. You know. With anything. With anything. This world is fucking shitty. It's pussified. It's pussified. You know. You know, Hulk Hogan made a mistake. He said he he owned up to it. Mm -hmm. You know, just take it as it is. You know, I Yeah, it was bad what he said, but you hear it every day in this world. I'm mm -hmm. being honest with you. Yeah. You hear you hear Racism every day put any, in this country. Put any rap song yeah. on, and I bet you hear that word. I bet you'll hear that word about ninety million fucking times on a rap and hip hop song, and I don't see anyone getting offended about that. Uh -huh. So for a I celebrity get, to say it, oh, it's it's a goddamn sin around this it, motherfucker. It's taboo. It's yeah. taboo. It's a fucking sin. It, it's fucking. Yeah. It's fucking. Everyone goes up in arms, but when a hip hop or rap artist says about ninety fucking verses. Oh, no, it's it's fine and dandy. Uh, Pops, you think Hulk Hogan should return uh, at uh, Raw Twenty Five? I don't see why not. I mean, it's like Tommy says, the, the the word is out. You know, I mean, I I mean, you know, they say it every day. It's in the rap music that they play now. 
so I, I really don't see no difference in it. Anyway, if you if you think about if you think about Hulk Hogan, you know you got to think about you know WWE. That's where Hulk Hogan was before, and then then, then he sprawled to WWE. So yeah, let him come back. What the fuck? Um. Not the biggest Hogan fan, but sure, why not? You know, a, a lot of everybody else is showing up. Might as well. Might yeah. as well bring him in. You know, fuck, you, you're bringing in goddamn fucking Nash. You yeah. know, and, yeah. uh, uh... Did they say Scott Hall? Yeah, 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 they're bringing in fucking DX. You might as well. You might. You might as well bring in fucking Hogan. You know, fucking and 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 have and have fucking Nash with with, with his fucking yeah. uh, reconstructed knee walk yeah. out there. You yeah, know. you can bring in Hogan. You might as well bring him in to make the M the NWO. You might as well. It don't fucking matter really. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, might as well. Yeah. Uh, and also, this ties in for the next question is. What is each of your guys' uh, three favorite Raw moments? Three favorite Raw moments. Probably when Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mike Tyson. That's definitely one of the goddamn Oh, yes. Ones. It has to be one. You number know, one. You know, the Stone Cold and Mike Tyson, That that's definitely number one right there. The Stone yeah. Cold Mike Tyson confrontation? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cause, cause that turned around WWE right there. It did. And, yeah. and it fucking say, see you later, Nitro. It's over for your fucking yeah. ass. With your fucking shitty goddamn WCW logo. It's over for your ass. And, and to me, another fucking great Raw moment was, again, when Mick Foley won the WWF title to me. Because mm -hmm. cause Nitro fucking, fucking acted all cocky, like they're the goddamn cock of the fucking walk, thinking they're goddamn best. But when they got Nash and fucking Hogan doing the finger poke of doom, thinking that's going to sell a lot of tickets. And fucking what happens? Fucking Tony Schiavone said, Oh, you, you know, dude... Cactus Jack Russell here one time is going to win their WWF title. Oh, that put a lot of butts in the seats. Yeah, it helped the ratings on Raw, didn't it? Didn't you fucking dumb motherfuckers? Last one. And last one, I'm going to have to go with, to me, I have to go with The Rock and Mankind, This Is Your Life. <laughs> yeah. That's number three. That was probably the best fucking segment. And that was the highest rated segment in Raw history. It certainly wasn't Alexa Bliss's no. and Bailey's no, uh, This no, Is Your Life. No, uh, no, that was the shitty. <laughs> To me, those are my three favorite Raw moments. Pops. Uh, I have to go first with the, with, with the one uh, about Mike Tyson and Stone Cold Steve Austin. That That's my number one pick right there. Uh, the second one, I, I'd have to go with Steve Austin again when he brought in the beer truck. Uh, Douse the Corporation yes, in beer? Yes, he sure did. Uh, and third, I, I would have, I'd have to say Stone Cold again but when that, when the, uh, uh, that, that, that feud with with the goddamn announcer and Jerry Lawler, and and, and, uh, and he 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 was gonna have a, a special match with Jerry Lawler at WrestleMania, Michael Cole, okay. and and, and, uh, and they, they they had to have a special guest referee. Well, Michael Cole wanted JBL, and JBL was come out there, you know, to gonna gonna referee the matchup, which is what he was set up for. He's gonna sign the contract, and Stone Cold just just come in there. Just fucking whipped all their asses. Seen the contract laying there on the floor, and he picked it up, looked at, it, looked around the crowd. Everybody saying, "Sign it, sign it, sign it!" And Stone Cold just put his name on it, and he walked over to Michael Cole and said, "Good luck at WrestleMania." <laughs> uh, mine would have to be when uh, uh, Grandmaster Sex A returned. <laughs> really? No. Uh. uh <laughs> No crowd reaction. Yeah, yeah, with no, no crowd reaction. <laughs> He's going, and nobody's fine. <laughs> except for Michael going in the ring. Yeah. I, I, I look, I, I'm not telling me. I looked at you like, are you serious? Uh, no, uh, uh, this is your life, no doubt. The Austin Tyson confrontation. And I'd have to throw in, now this was uh, just an exciting role for me in general, and it would have to be when they first did the Raw roulette. Yeah. Uh, uh, with when when they did the wheel. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed that. Two thousand two. Yes. Uh, one one of my favorite rolls. Um, next. Uh, oh, and let us know in the comments below what was your favorite uh, oh, no. raw moment. Uh, and the last question asked by Brio Thirty Five is: Who do you believe should induct Goldberg in the WWE Hall of Fame? And is there any fond memories of Goldberg? Uh, as you well, guys know, uh, oh. the, the WWE did yep, uh, say that Goldberg's going to be this year's WWE Hall of Fame yep. inductee. Yes. Yep. And I didn't like this year's Goldberg. 
I'll say that right here, right up front. 2016, 2017. 2016, 2017, Goldberg was the drizzling fucking shit. Yes. That was the worst time I've ever seen Goldberg in his life. Yes. He should have been on life alert that year. <laughs> that was the fucking shit. That was the worst Goldberg in my time. So it's definitely not that fucking year. No. Not uh, really. It had to be the WCW days, Goldberg. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't even enjoy Goldberg in 2003. Uh, you know, when he came to the WWE, he thought he was going to be goddamn... I'm like, sorry, he just... Till the summer of 03, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I'm going to mention, when he first came in, I thought it was cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, but but later, nah. You know, by SummerSlam of 2003, I was kind of burnt out on Goldberg. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, he kept losing to Triple H. And then yeah. he, had, he eventually won the World Heavyweight title, yeah, but, but it, it wasn't for long. long. And, and then again, it wasn't for long either. No. He lost it right back to Triple H. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, right after that, it was like, you know, and then he went to the feud with Lesnar in 2004. And Which that was, was probably the worst WrestleMania up there when, back in now. Yeah, it was, so, it, 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 uh, it, it was so bad, so terrible. I could So I'm going to have to say WCW Goldberg. Uh, uh, any year in particular? When he debuted. Ninety. From all the way. I didn't like 2000 Goldberg. I'm going to give you a heads up right there. I like the fucking 96, 97, 98 Goldberg. Did he start in 96? Yeah. I thought he started in 97. It's one of them fucking years. It don't fucking matter. It's that year, Goldberg. Okay, okay. I'll just fucking say that. Okay, and uh, and to be honest, who do I think should induct him? Uh, yeah. uh, probably Eric Bischoff, in my opinion. Eric Bischoff. Because he's the one uh, kind of got him a job there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he won, and, you know, Goldberg wanted to be called the hybrid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Pops. Uh, I, I I agree with uh, you know I, I I like I liked him when he first started WCW and he just he just ran all over everybody. I first mean, person he ran through who was it? Hugh Morris. Hugh yeah. Morris. Actually, yeah. Kevin Sullivan made that pick because he said because Bill Demont could get him over the right way. Yeah. That's right, it's, old uh, Bill. It's like uh, you, you know, and it, you know, he's always you know, he was always there and and, and he just run rough run rough over all of them in that in the company. And uh, since since he's since he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, I also have to be with Tommy. To me, there, there would be nobody any better than Bischoff to induct him into the Hall of Fame. Um, I guess I'll go with Bischoff as well because there's nobody else really. Yeah. I mean, maybe Hogan, maybe. Because Hogan did help Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. you know. He but, won. He come on. Hogan took the fall for Goldberg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, if, if it's anybody, it's going to be Hogan or Bischoff. Uh, yeah. Because there's nobody else, really. You want me to tell you what my worst Goldberg moment was? Huh? When he fucking jobbed to Nash. All because, all because Nash had the oh, goddamn the, book. Oh, the stun gun? Yeah. <laughs> they fucking ruined Goldberg right there. Kabosh. Uh, my favorite memory of Goldberg, honestly, was um, uh, when he kicked Bret Hart. No. <laughs> but, uh, no, um... Uh, now, my favorite memory of Goldberg would have to be when he beat Hogan yes. for the WCW That's championship. That's probably my... Yeah. In the Georgia Dome. Yes. That was probably my favorite uh, WCW exactly. Goldberg moment. And probably my favorite WWE is when he came out in his debut in the Harley Davidson jacket <laughs> and, spears go and spills the rock. Yeah. You know, that was probably my favorite WWE moment of Goldberg. But, uh... That's it for five questions right here. If you guys right. want to send in your guys' questions, you guys can do that through our social media uh, on our Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage2. Or if you have me or Tommy on Facebook, you guys can do that as well. I'm Joey East, Tommy Flat, F-L-A-T-T, Pops, no social media whatsoever. You guys can also follow us on Twitter, at Russell Rampage. Uh, you guys can send questions there. Don't forget, if you guys want to send something for Mailbag Monday, you guys can do that as well. Through our P.O. Box, Joseph Flat F L A T T at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky 42702. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, why don't you take it away? If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.